So one of the things, one of the challenges of trying to do this music is to see how closely it's really tied to the singing. Um, and one of the things that Blind Willie Johnson is doing is singing with the guitar and then he's also letting the guitar answer him. And so it, it sort of takes on a little bit more meaning when you add the vocals. I mentioned that um, that telephone <laughs> that was on Jesus is on the main line shows up in Blind Willie Johnson's song, Jesus is going to make up my dying bed. And so it starts off with the idea Jesus gonna make up my dying bed. Right? That's, that's your f refrain that you keep coming back to when you are playing this song. Now, on the verse, there is this idea of you singing, Ever since we got married. Haven't been a minute apart, right? The idea is you're married to Jesus. So you, you have this, you know, he is the bridegroom and the church is the bride, right? And that's implied. Everybody who would have heard this music would have understood what that symbolism meant when it was recorded in, I believe, the late 1920s. So you've got your pentatonic scale. At the 12th fret, 10th fret, I'm oh, sorry, 7th, 5, 3, and open. Or, or at the 2nd string, the 5th fret. Right? So that is, that's your palette. That is what you're using to articulate or to second or to respond to the vocal. So if the line is, ever since we got married, haven't been a minute apart. And that apart is on the second string, sliding somewhere between the 10th fret and the 12th fret. He put his receiver in my hand. True religion in my heart. Right? That's what's really going on with Blind Willie Johnson. No no four chords, no five chords, no really chords at all going on because it's this driving idea of the slide of the open, open tuned guitar is giving you all the sound you need and your vocal is being accented or responded to or you're singing with the guitar as you play or as you sing with your vocal you're also the guitar is singing. But another thing that really kind of makes, makes uh, Blind Willie Johnson's guitar so otherworldly and so cool is he has this ability to get these little nuances. His, his vocal is like, ever since we got married. So it's like, married. Have them in a minute apart. Puts a receiver in my hand. Oh, true religion in my heart. That that is. There were some. Um, musicologists that traveled into the South in the 1800s, um, immediately following the Civil War. And when they introduced this kind of music, they talked about how hard it was, how difficult it was to notate this stuff. Because 
you're sliding between notes. They're like little microtones going on. It's it's this wonderful kind of emotional, um, emotional and 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 driving music in the words of Blind Willie Johnson. And there's no attempt to damp it. It's like the guitar, all of these overtones, all of these sympathetic tones are coming out in this style. Right? So, get it up to speed, combine the vocal with the guitar, and it's a little bit like this. Ever since we got married, haven't been a minute apart. Put the receiver in my hand, true religion in my heart. Well, well, well. Now, he'll come back and he'll get this. Well, well, well. I, I can call him up easy. The second line, he'll go, well, 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 and the guitar will play. I'm sorry. And then the last one, it'll sing along with him. Well, 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 I can call him a beast. Jesus gonna make up my dying bed. Now, since I'm trying to play this slowly, I'm actually trying to hit the notes in between. But when I actually play this in performance, the idea is those notes are passing by as I'm headed to the third fret. So you don't necessarily hear this as much as you hear. Right? So you get this. Well, I, well, I, well, I can call him a piece. Well, 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 well. Jesus gonna make up my dying bed, and you end up playing that D, but it's on the second string at the fifth fret. Every once in a while, in fact, more often than not, Willie Willie Johnson will take what we would call a solo, but actually he's just sort of playing the same line, but on the bass string. And then he'll come back. And the center of this seems to be at about the seventh fret. So your default is really <laughs> coming back to that note on the seventh fret. And so if I were to tell you where do you go in between the phrases is first string seventh fret. Well, make up my dying bed. Right. Johnson's stuff is so cool uh, because he he operates in that in that world with that sort of limited palette, but it allows him to say so much within that limited. Palette. Sometimes it's it's like a nice slow song called uh, you know. I know his blood will make you whole. Jesus' blood can make you 
If you touch the hem of his garment, Jesus' blood will make you whole. Right? He's got that melody down pat, which is the same cloth. It's the same scale of the song we just played. And then when he adds that driving rhythm, Jesus' blood will make you. Jesus' blood will make you. If you touch the hem of his gone, Jesus' blood will make you. I was a sinner just like. I was a sinner just like. But I touched the hem of his garment. Jesus' blood has made me. So that's sort of a little bit of insight into a person who on the streets of Texas, on the streets of Galveston, on the streets of Beaumont, used to make his living playing this music. And sort of as a final footnote to his stuff, um, one of the great songs in music history was an old hymn called Dark Was the Night and Cold Was the Ground. And if you go back and find some of those old hymnals from the turn of the century, You'll find that song is about Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, stretched out praying um, to let this cup pass from me. So Blind Willie Johnson takes that song and makes it his own. I mean, that's part of the lesson, part of the con, part of the um, the the concept is don't necessarily leave it where you found it, but make it your own. So the song originally was something like. Um, um, Dark was the night, cold was the ground on which the Lord was laid. Drops of sweat like blood ran down in agony he prayed. But just because it was written like that didn't mean they sang it like that. So take that and filter it through this really cool thing in the Baptist church called the Dr. Watts where these enslaved folks would take that, that um, sacred music and filter it, that European sound, and filter it through their African singing. And it became more like, Dark was the night, cool the ground, on which the Lord will lead. Drops of sweat like blood ran down in agony he prayed. Blind Willie Johnson finds that and he turns it into this moan and it becomes. To drink it up, thy purpose, thy purpose to fulfill.
So that song is on the golden record that is on the Voyager that's traveling throughout the universe. And I really love that idea that this blind guy from Texas has this universal song that's traveling around the universe. But even a song as beautiful and complex as Dark Was the Night is built on the same template that we were talking about, that same idea of seventh fret to the fourth fret to the octave to the fifth fret third fret all on the first string seventh fret and then you come in catch the second string third fret to the fifth fret right so you start to see just how beautiful this way of playing is, and you can hear it, especially in the music of Ry Cooter, you know, because you, you hear a song like Paris, Texas, or Ry Cooter's, uh, Ry Cooter's treatment of Dark Was the Night, and Cold Was the Ground. A lot of this music is just in those five notes in that one chord. Right. 